We present an adaptive staggered tilted grid for both smoke and liquid simulations. Our method introduces new elements into the uniform grid, acting as a new set of degrees of freedom. Our grid structure retains the regularity of the uniform grid and enables fine-scale adaptivity control. The new elements could also be integrated with Octree adaptive pattern, which eliminates problematic T-junction and recover orthogonality. Our key idea is to place axis tilted cells over every grid node of the uniform grid and to store simulation variables on them. The size of tilted cells are controlled independently, which enables adaptivity control and low-cost dynamic tracking. The AST grid structure retains orthogonality across the whole domain, and can be naturally extended to 3D, as shown in the animation where the shape of the tilted cell is an octahedron now. The concept of the tilted cell can be applied to different regular patterns, such as an octree. It means tilted cells can be treated as a plug-in to current adaptive solutions. Moreover, the tilted cell can eliminate the problematic T-junction in octree. Simply by controlling the size of the tilted cell in the level transition region of octree, T-junctions are disappeared and thus restore primal dual orthogonality. The same idea can also be extended to the 3D case, where we introduce half-tilted cell as an additional component to eliminate T-junctions. Here, we show an example of smoke plume passing through a sphere. The four-level octree pattern is used together with tilted cells, to provide more degrees of freedom around the obstacle and the smoke. The tilted cell brings two auxiliary axes in 2D and four axes in 3D. These axes could be used to capture directional quantities in simulation. In this anisotropic diffusion example, our grid performs better even with a larger time step and lower resolution. This is a 2D Karman Vortex Street simulation. An example to illustrate the dynamic tracking feature of our grid. The status of a tilted cell is not only decided by the density value at its position, but also determined by the value at its backtracked position. Taking the Lagrangian viewpoint, the structure of the tilted cell acts like a flow, propagating along with the fluid. Here, we represent another example using vorticity-based tracking strategy. The extra degree of freedoms are activated only in the regions that have high vorticity values. Here, we present the comparison of our grid with the uniform grid by several smoke simulations on different resolutions. Our grid resolved the artifact of the uniform grid, while providing more detailed fluid feature. Here is an example of smoke plume passing through a solid porous net. Details of plume passing out of the hole are preserved. It is achieved by the combination of tilted cells and a three-level octree pattern. We have tilted cells around the obstacle in maximum size and dynamically open them around the smoke. The status of tilted cells is updated every frame with little runtime cost thanks to its regular pattern and compact storage. Here is an example of liquid simulation. Four sources pour water over armadillo models and collide, forming liquid sheets around obstacles. We visualize part of tilted cells as purple octahedrons. Tilted cells are opened in the narrow band of the level set, evolving along with the liquid. Here is another example of tilted cell adaptivity. The moving boat and the waking surface are tracked by tilted cells. Surface tension related phenomenons like milk crown could be modeled as pressure jump at the free surface boundary on our grid. 
Tilted cells follow the surface dynamically and offer more degrees of freedom. Finally, we show an example of two colliding sources. A thin sheet is generated and wobbles, exhibiting fine-scale surface detail. <laughs>